update 2 on what is still Invest 95E organizing tonight, located at 11.0 degrees north, 98.0 degrees west, by our analysis this June 23rd at 10 p.m. Central Time. We have it with winds of 30 miles an hour, a pressure of 1,008 millibars, and it's currently moving to the west-northwest at about 18 miles an hour. No CDPS with no landfall expected from 95E. Here it is on the map there, no tropical storm force winds, considering the fact that this does not have 40 mile an hour winds yet. Of course, this could very well be a different story by tomorrow or on Friday. In terms of distances, it's 391 miles away from Ometepec, 421 away from Acapulco, 424 from Oaxaca, 669 from Tecoman, and 681 from Colima. That is 630 kilometers away from Ometepec, 678 from Acapulco, 683 from Oaxaca, 1077 from Tecoman, and 1096 kilometers away from Colima. I do apologize if I did uh, mispronounce any of the city names. All of these are in Mexico, and some minor impacts could be seen there in the coming days. There continues to be a lackluster of estimates given by anyone besides Force 13 and ATCF, but we are currently in agreement with them, putting this at 30 miles an hour at this moment. I'm sure those intensity estimates will continue to uh, rise as we get closer to the destination of this storm. As of right now, we have it peaking as a high-end Category 2. Most of the models pretty much at least have it uh, going to a consensus of Category 3, but of course, we're remaining a little bit conservative with the models and going slightly lower due to the fact that this is still an invest and things could easily change. But regardless, uh, it's probably going to become a tropical storm in the next day or so, and if it does, it will likely receive the next name, which is Andre K. In terms of sea surface temperatures, it's pretty warm. It's in some pockets of 27 to 28 degrees Celsius waters. A little patch of 29 to 30, although it's not looking as um, there as it was the last few days. So um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens there, although it does not look like it's going to be tapping in those waters as much as we had thought. Um, here are the intensity models. It looks like it's a general upswing until around the 28th, and then it looks like models have a significant diverge of what happens there. Uh, wind shear, it's going to be dropping by the time we get to the 26th and 27th, which is when most of the intensification is going to be happening. Um, sea surface temperatures remaining pretty warm, and humidity also remaining very, very conducive for tropical cyclone development. Of course, all the bottles are still kind of standstill on whether this is going to continue to stay out to sea or make a potential dangerous close path to Acapulco. Here it is on image rate, it's pretty large and broad at the moment, although it has been getting itself more organized, and the general trend over the next 24 to 48 hours is that it does consolidate some enough for it to become a tropical cyclone. And if this does get named, this would be the earliest fifth named storm in Eastern Pacific records. Definitely going to be interesting to see what happens there, although most of the storms have been relatively weak so far, so it's definitely going to be interesting to see what happens definitely likely that we will be looking at our second hurricane of the season by our analysis.